Hey folks, I'm HP and it's Dr. Pink and mm. today's topic is a basic improvisation concept over the well-known standard Sunny and this is how it sounds. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I was not only basic stuff, but during this tutorial, we're going to check out what you can do with a combination of your pentatonic licks, which you already know, with some chromatic stuff, and with coolness and smoothness. And oh, I forgot one part which I'm going to talk about as well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Stuff like that. The, the Wes Montgomery octave style, which was played by George Benson or, or uh, written hour, and many others, of course. Yeah, so this is basically what we got to do. And let's get started. But first, uh, the sound settings. Uh, I got to ask many times what uh, kind of gear I have. I have an XFX3 processor. And in this case, I'm using a Roland Jazz Chorus 120 amplifier with a 2 times 12 cabinet. And the special thing here is, you name it, it's a reverse delay. I really think it's very cool to have a reverse delay um, set on the tempo of the song. I like that this sound is, I mean, I can switch it off. Um, now it's off, and let's hear how it sounds without and with. Yeah, now with. The point is with the reverse delay, you can play open and you have a nice feeling sound. That's a cool thing, having a delay, and if you only have a normal delay, it's too straight ahead, especially for jazzy stuff from my taste. And <laughs> if you have a reverse delay, it gives a more ambient touch in this, and it's really much cooler from my point of view. But who I am to dare to attack the normal delay settings. <laughs> yeah, so um, I have new shoes, check them out. <laughs> A little bit, sorry guys, a little bit boring, but it's winter outside and um, somehow um, this protects m my feet more from the snow than the normal ones which I normally have. <laughs> so let's get started now uh, with some concepts. The first thing we need to analyze is um, what is basically, what are the, the modes which are played here and we we're really going for... Um, a minor pentatonics, a blue scale, and a little tricks when it comes to the E7 chord. So let's check this one out on the close view. Now I switched off the delay, just we can check out the scale. I'm using basically the A minor blue scale, which is this one here. Fifth, eight, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, eight, five. So this is the blues scale. And of course in the second position, here. Now let's do the blues scale in the second position here. And we just use the upper part of it. 7, 10, 7, 8, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, 11, 12, Yeah, 
and try to practice the scale in 60 notes because this is the even if you don't play the stuff fast afterwards or long runs you need to have a feeling for 60 notes what is this so it's four notes will be the daga 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 what do 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 What you didn't see now is my foot is going tuk, 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 tuk. See? And that works. So, once you have done this, now try to start a phrase. And normally you do phrasing stuff. Phrasing stuff in a smooth jazz is basically... Um, you play runs in 60 notes like this. Or let's do this one here. And the cool thing with the blues scale is it uh, you can just play the blues scale and it fits. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, C. So 1, 2. Blues scale, C. Now, if <laughs> if you start a phrase on the second six, you know, that's the thing where the phrasing starts. So one, two, three, four. So we start in four and one, two, three, four. On this no on the, on the second, sorry, on the second uh, sixty note of, of the four end. So of the four. So so one, two, three, four. These are the six in one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See? Now if you start on the second same thing, but you started on the I'm gonna write down this for you. You start on the second for 16 notes and let's see what effect this has. One, two, three. I first played straight ahead. I know, sorry, it's pretty fast, but that's how 60 notes are. See? Now I start on the second. See, it sounds totally different. Even as I play the same thing, it sounds totally different. See? And uh, of course, if you play if you play this run on uh, straightaway, some it fits when you go up and back down. If you start on the with the other method on the second sixty note of the four, then some it doesn't really fit. So one, two, three, four. So you can use this as an opening lick, like, and then you like stop there as to go here and then play a typical blues lick here see let's see how that works oh wait four three four see or you, you just can stop here and then you can switch back to normal uh, to slower stuff you know uh, if you want to sound cool smooth jazzy somehow you need to have those 16 runs integrated in your playing otherwise it sounds a little bit boring so this is a run which is pretty easy to play and which helps and sounds sophisticated because somehow you think okay cool i mean uh, if you just play the normal run it sounds a little bit boring but if you do it like this it sounds so sophisticated and then you can continue like in the upper position here like 10 8 10 bending see let's see how that sounds see this resolves very smooth Or you play the other run. 
works also fine. Let's do another lick which works fine. You're also in 16 notes here. Five, eight, five, eight, five, five, eight, pull off. And then eight, seven, five, seven. And here we make a pull off on eight to five. That one works very smooth. Practice it slow. See, goes very cool. And then you can continue here like with slow stuff. Stay in the blue scale. Now you make the run. See, very cool. Works out pretty fine. Um, what also works as the last 60 note lick is this one here. Here we are. Five, seven, eight, five, eight, seven, five. And this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So if you play it as a repeating lick, if you play it twice, it starts to resolve itself. Let's see how that works. Yeah, sounds cool, but probably a little bit boring. Now let's do the phrasing trick again. We start on the third 60 note of the lick. See? One, like one, two, three, four. Now it sounds cool. Same thing, but the, the phrasing trick starts on third, second, sixty note of the four. One, two, three. Yeah, so now we have four sixteen licks and they are totally enough, you don't need more. Now you need to have the smooth thing going on, the sixth, uh, this. That's very easy. Um, <coughs> you play octaves and octaves, I play them on the high two strings. But I, <laughs> I'm playing two notes, so but I make the orientation on the high two strings, so in pentatonic. So this will be this note here, fifth fret, eight, ten, oops, ten, five, eight, ten. Play with the pinky first, maybe twelve as well. See. And now you just add the octave. Just skip one string like this, and the middle string is damped. And to make it smooth, you slide into them. And then you can improvise with the stuff. Very easy stuff. And this gives you a smoothness, a quietness in your soloing. Now you make a combination of these three things. We make the simple stuff, 16 runs as showed, and the smoothness, and then we're ready to rumble. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, these were a few very simple tricks how you can play over Sonny. Um, I mean, you could go in more into the chords, but Sonny is a tune which uh, works more or less with the blues scale and the very famous version of Pat Martino is basically also a blues scale, pretty fast stuff, but it's basically that. And if you want to make it more modern, we add our reverse delay. <laughs> And then the thing starts to sound very smooth. Try think orange, think smoothness. Um, how you get smoothness into your soloing, you, you have to have this cool laid back vibe. I mean, I can teach you to play licks, but how do you to play smooth and with orange and all this uh, cocktail bar vibe? You need to <laughs> have been in a cocktail bar once before, of course. If you don't know it, you cannot play it. <laughs> <laughs> try to figure out pictures try to figure out emotions try to express emotions um, if you play one note you can just play it like okay I played it now what, what's, the, what's the deal what if you want to play it the smoothness of a beautiful woman in high heels just passed you by oh wow baby <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> That's the trick. How you you want you're gonna sound awesome. Even uh, we don't play wild stuff. Playing wild is cool too. But um, always think about the high healing, the high heels and stuff like that. Whatever uh, grabs your attention, that us usually grabs my attention <laughs> when I play somewhere in public. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the main trick. Um, and the rest, then you have one or two licks going on, and then you nail it with the high heels. <laughs> oh, wow, she's so beautiful. And she moves so smooth. And she wears a red dress. I try to um, seduce her, get to know her seducer. Let's do this now. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Like, hi. How are you doing? I'm HP. I'm a crazy guitar player. What's your name? My name is... Uh, <laughs> I just had the name of my girlfriend in my head I didn't want to say now <laughs> and now we get more into intensity probably go to dance and stuff like this And like this, it develops. And try to express your own story. It doesn't have to be uh, in a cocktail bar. I just pick this thing because somehow it fits to smooth jazz, but it doesn't have to be uh, this picture. Try to express your story. Tell me your story in the comments, which you want to play. And um, <laughs> I'm really pretty curious what kind of stories will pop out, which you want to play with this track. Yeah. So that's basically... Um, the way how you play smooth, the way how you start to tell a story with music. You have to tell a story. The licks are not so important. I mean, I showed a few licks. That's enough. More than enough to tell a story. You know what I mean? And the rest is all your creativity, your life experience, what crossed your way, which beautiful woman crossed your way and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good, then we have it. The I have a new system now. The backing track and the tabs of the licks, which I just showed, are available in the my new HP Crazy Students Club. It's on my main website, handspeedercrazy.com. Uh, membership is free. You can enter the club. The, li the link is in the description box. And um, 
you can start to discuss with others. Uh, you're going to see it's brand new, the system. Uh, you're going to see what, uh, what benefit you get out of it. Uh, you can share or, or discuss with others and stuff like that. That's going to be there. Or you can also add your comments here on the here on uh, in the comment section yeah good um that's more or less than that if you love what i'm doing make a donation for the hp crazy um academy on my website and also in the you will see those in the club there's a donation function there you can also do it there if you want uh, follow me on facebook on spotify and on on instagram hans Peter crazy stuff like that good now we have it more or less hp crazy and dr pink or signing off <laughs> yeah